Hello, I'm Travis Moll, and we are Doc Consulting. Today we will be discussing our results from a recent analysis we did on the social media efforts of a company called Rowing Dock. Rowing Dock is a paddle board and kayak concession shop located on Ladybird Lake. Today, Isabel Morales, who could not be here with us, will be introducing our report via video. Krista Panagos will be discussing our primary research collection and analysis. Philly Perez will be discussing our secondary research. Evelyn Cantu will be discussing our findings and conclusions, and I will be discussing our recommendations. Please welcome Isabel Morales. And the purpose of our research. Our client is the Rolling Duck, which is an outdoor destination for kayak, canoeing, and paddleboard rentals. The problem under our investigation is that the Rolling Duck has not been able to effectively reach the local community because of a shortage of resources and creative ideas in social media. The purpose of our research is to explain why there is still improvement for the Roy Duck, brand recognition, image definition through social media. The second one is to identify the different possibilities for improvement in social media marketing based on our primary and secondary research. And the third one is to discuss strategies and techniques that the Roy Duck can use to successfully reach its target market through social media based on our findings. Now, I'm going to pass it on to Krista, which will explain how we conducted our primary research. Okay, so as I was saying in the video, I'm Krista and I'm going to explain how we collected our data and how we analyzed it. We distributed 380 surveys, of which 359 surveys were answered. Out of these 359, 209 were answered by St. Edward's students, faculty, and staff. We divided this population in three demographic groups. One is 18 to 24 years old. The second one is 25 to 34 years old. And the third demographic group is 34, 35 or more years old. The other 150 surveys were taken by the Austin community that is outside uh, St. Edward's. And we, we classified this, um, this population as another demographic group called um, a general population. Um, our survey consisted of 10 different questions with the purpose to know the awareness people have about growing dog. Um, we wanted to know if they know what growing dog is or if they even like perform the activities that growing up performs. Also, we wanted to discover how, peop uh, how people use social media in order to get involved with organizations. We wanted to know um, how they like, if they like to follow organizations, how they like to follow them, what kind of posts like images, videos, text, or offers they want to see, they expect from companies, and how often they want to see this kind of advertisement. Uh, Evelyn is going to explain you later on our finding, uh, but first, I'm going to pass it to Philly, that is going to talk to you about our secondary research. Thank you. As Krista said, my name is Philly, and I will be conducting the secondary research, secondary research. Um, for our secondary research, we took a look at six articles in order to answer key questions, two key questions, which are why, why Facebook is on top of the social media platform, why images play a big role in social media network. First article from Transic Media states, photos have become the eye candy of the internet. They are meant to attract readers' attentions and spark their interest. A photo that tells a story will help people remember. Also, consider who your audience is, encourage them to share your images with a growing exposure of images on its site like Pinterest, Facebook, and Instagram. There is no better time to start using images in your social media network. The second article was from Social Media Examineer, talked about how we as humans, it is, it is in our nature to communicate visually. Images process quickly and people are drawn to them. People make decisions and take actions quicker, 
quicker when prompted by images rather than by reading a text. Uh, third article was from Sendable Insight. It said, social media marketing has evolved significantly over the past few years and staying up to date on trends and is crucial for success. One of the biggest trends in image is image-centric marketing rather than traditional text-based. <clears throat> the fourth article, same from, uh, also from Sendable Insight, also states, social media Social media today talks about the three pillars to consider when, when talking about social media. Finding your voice, defining your goals, and making a plan and take action. Key essential factors that make a great business. <clears throat> Fifth article from Social Media Today, Facebook is an accepted means of communication. It is a never-ending virtual social gathering filled with adopted puppies, cute LOL, kitties, babies, announcements, virtual articles and videos and events, groups, organizations, and fan pages. Last article was from Sticky Media, talked about 10 reasons why people prefer Facebook over Twitter. Those 10 reasons are revenue streams, content, localized, games, better API, API collaboration, access control, friending over following, blackmail and true rats. And this will conclude our secondary research and now I will pass the platform on to Evelyn to talk about our findings and conclusions. Thanks, Elise. Thanks, Elise. Um, well, as Billy previously mentioned, my name is Evelyn. Um, I will be talking to you first about our primary findings and conclusions <coughs> and then about our secondary findings. Um, as Krista previously mentioned, we distributed surveys, and these surveys were divided up to both get information about um, social media usage and also awareness of growing doc. Um, first, we found that 70% of our sample is active on social media, and that over half of them will follow organizations and businesses on social media. We also determined that 75% of our sample will prefer between one and two posts daily from organizations and businesses. However, um, I think that we kind of concluded that two to three could maybe be a little bit better only because as somebody in another um, presentation previously mentioned, you only see about a fifth of what people post. So maybe two to three would be a little more adequate, but that is what we found through our primary uh, research. Um, we also found that the most engaging and appealing posts are images, um, which had 50% support, and followed were videos with 30% support. Um, the most preferred social media platforms were Facebook with 50% support, and that was followed by Instagram with 30%. Um, and uh, 70, as I mentioned, 75%. Um, so that was uh, what we found about social media usage. Now about um, knowledge of the rowing dock, 70% of our sample did not know anything about rowing dock, who we were, etc. cetera. Um, however, 90% of the people that we, have, that we had in our sample knew about kayaking and paddleboarding. Um, of course, only 30% of them engage in activities, but we can see that they are very aware of what these activities are. And if they knew more about growing dog, they could definitely go and growing dog could get a lot more clientele. Um, now, uh, we also determined and found through our primary research that 40% of our sample spends between zero to three hours outdoors per week. Um, I mean, it's not a lot, but it's enough. <laughs> and um, our demographics found that the people that spend the most time outdoors are from the ages of 25 to 34 followed by the ages of 18 through 24. Um, this, of course, uh, includes that a lot of people would definitely go out there, and Lady Bird Lake is right there, so we could definitely get a lot of people to go to rowing docks so that they could engage in these activities. Now, our secondary research uh, kind of backed up our primary research with the finding that no, Facebook is the number one platform used both by people in general and by companies. It is preferred by companies because of advertising. Um, 
it's really good for advertising and um, Facebook is the only platform, the only social media platform that will allow companies to purchase advertising. Um, and uh, it is also very multifaceted. Not only can you post uh, images, but you can post videos, you can share events, you can also ask other people who follow you to share anything that you post. And of course you can post uh, basic verbal posts that aren't limited to 40 characters as Twitter is. Um, another thing that we found through our secondary research is that most people are visual learners, which could also, which also backed up our primary findings that um, images are most preferred uh, ways of advertising. Um, uh, we also found through our secondary research that a call to action is always to be used in advertising posts because um, they will not only give people information, but they would also ask people to follow up and do something about that information that was given to them. And that will conclude my findings and conclusion section, and I will handing, hand it off to Travis, who will be covering recommendations and conclude our presentation. Thank you. Hello again, I'm Travis, and I'll be covering our recommendations. Following recommendations are offered in order to increase brand recognition for Rowing Dog. Generally, we found it to be very important that Rowing Dogs stay totally engaged with their customers. No matter what platform, it is important that customers do not feel neglected when they comment and, and or ask questions on social media. As stated in the findings, we found Facebook to be the most important social media outlet for Rowing Dog. Facebook, unlike other platforms, allows a company to post in several different formats, photos, video, text, etc. Because of that, advertising campaigns can be multifaceted. In addition, we found that one to two posts should be made daily on Facebook. This helps to keep customers engaged but not annoyed. Also, because photos seem to be the most popular form of posts amongst our sample population, Rowing Doc should focus on posting photos with a call to action. This call to action gives the customer an idea of what the company wants or needs from them. In regards to Twitter and Instagram, posting can be more frequent. These platforms are much faster, things populate much more quickly, and they can actually do a lot more on Facebook and Instagram specifically. As everybody mentioned, um, hashtags are really important for Instagram specifically because that's actually how people can find various posts throughout the community. In conclusion, we cannot stress how important it is for Rowing Doc to stay active and engaged in social media. The conversation never stops. Additionally, it is important that content stay specific to various pl platforms instead of mass posting. That way, individuals following on all platforms never get bored. I'd like to thank Rowing Doc for the opportunity to work with him and you guys for listening. Does anybody have any questions?